Hawker with the Mossberg in the Parker jacket. No accomplice, I'm fully conscious and partly ratchet. Be the one that catch it, patches, oh hula hand. My Yoruba clan, deep enough to bring a scoop of scuba sand from the new sedan. Salute the fam, I rent a few commands, I can recruit a ram. Head on collision with the goat, make you rebuke the lamb. It's to a scam, juice and crackers for cadavers in a choose it land. Devil got us dancing to his music, man. Dreaming lucid, I produce it through the use of using gram. A grimoire, sharp as a gym star with the pin guard. My future pin art, summon the soul of Nimrod. King 10, the kingpin, going ham in this VR. So let me ask you this, because I know you well enough to know that if you gave anyone any type of advice, like you were just saying that you told them, if you take this word out, or if you structure it like this, if you tell someone that, that means that you see some potential. Right, definitely. No, he so, always had potential. He could rhyme. Don't get me wrong. He, he could rap. Mm -hmm. It just wasn't, it was rough. It, he, was still, he was still inventing himself. He was still creating himself. We all were, though. I was rough back then too. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, me now, even though I, I don't rap as much, me now is, is nowhere in comparison to back then. I would have killed my former self right mm -hmm. now just based off the type of life I've been lived so, since then. You know what I'm saying? But So with that being said, why did you never approach it about being a part of Dynamic Certified? Uh, it wasn't ready. He wasn't ready then. Rule, rule, rule brought, and I think that might have been a lot of the fire in hit because we did, we never approached him on that. Mm -hmm. I don't, but he never expressed, he never expressed the want to be a part of us. Mm -hmm. But I think that might have fueled his fire that I got at Rue and didn't bring him into the equation. But hit, at that time, Dynamic Certified, you, it required a certain skill set. Mm -hmm. that we wasn't just letting anybody and it was like a real brotherhood and fraternity you know what I'm saying outside of rap you had to be a different kind of cat like like you spoke you just spoke on what happened at lingerie like mm -hmm. it was different we was really moving differently than a rap group you right. know what I'm saying right. and at the time we we just didn't think hit was ready for that but it was nothing against it was never nothing against hit yeah, we. Um, I, I'll let you get into some of the other questions before I go into other stuff. Maybe you, <laughs> maybe you already have questions for that. But um, I think that was it. We just didn't feel like he was ready yet, and the fact that he didn't express the desire. I don't mm -hmm. think Rue did either. I think I just really wanted Rue to rap with us, though. Like bad. Mm -hmm. like, you got to be a part. It of was it. the energy that Rue yeah, was yeah, passionate. Yeah, I just like I just seen it in him. It was just it was just raw. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It was a little bit more reserved. It was quiet. Little, you know, you couldn't you couldn't really get a uh, you couldn't really get a, a you couldn't pinpoint where he was coming from, what he was thinking about. You know what I'm saying at mm -hmm. the time. He was just quiet and in the cut. Okay. Okay. So when I say the name Porno Style, talking about the group, mm -hmm. what's the first thing that comes to your mind? <laughs> um. Little brothers, <laughs> my okay. little brothers, the little brother that just want that attention. You know what I'm saying? Um, Cause I honestly, I, I we didn't know who they were. We knew them individually, mm -hmm. but we didn't know what porno style was. It was like well, they must have just came up with that. Like we we the the first time I heard a porno style, I was at a little chick I was messing with house that stayed down the street from them. Mm -hmm. And I guess they used to conversate and be like, oh, and they knew who she was dealing with. And they'd be like, uh, oh, yeah, we better than them niggas. We had served them niggas, this, this, and that. <laughs> and she'd come back and be like, oh, they said they beat y'all, this, this, and that. So I'm like, who? Like, por they call themselves porno style. I'm like, porno style? First of all, I was just like, what kind of name is that? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what, what, are they, what are they on? Mm -hmm. And then, And then, you know, 
I, and we ignored it for a while. Like, we were just like, all right. Because we was all, like I said, we had different aspirations. Mm-hmm. And then after a while, I was like, well, who is, who's, who is from porno style? And they was like, uh, Bing. Uh, Hit. Uh, I think Bing and Hit was the only two I knew personally at first. Mm-hmm. And then um, I got to know GB and um, was it Chris? Chris Chris was from Porno Style Prime. Yes. He, from, yeah. he was from Porno Style. Uh, and uh, I think it was it was one more. Um, he was the main culprit. I, I don't even think he rapped, but he just ran his mouth so much. He, he called himself Bust a Nut or something like that. I don't know his real name. I'm not hit, sure. Hit know who I'm talking about. He <laughs> called himself, but he turned out, he ended up being a pastor or some, a rev, a deacon or some shit. And I called Oh, you're I talking mean, about Jared. Huh? Jared, the one no. that became a pastor. No, nah, I'm talking about, he had a brother, they called him Popeye. Mark, okay. Marcus. Okay. That's his name. <laughs> that was, he ended up being my little, like a little homie. Like we we never really we never really had an issue with them. It was more so them making the name for themselves and them using us to make the name for them, for themselves. We was like we was like I said we was the bar for them, and it was like if we want to be who we are, we gotta go through them. That's mm-hmm. how we looked at it, but. We never, it was never a real rivalry. Like, we never wanted to see them do bad. We never wanted to see them, like, not succeed. You know what I'm saying? It was just, like, y'all niggas ain't fucking with us. Like, like what is it? Until they, I, I think they came out with a couple diss records or something like that. It was like, all right, now y'all got our attention. And then we dropped that homo style record. And, and that's... <laughs> That's it was. I think that's what lit the match. But so, whose idea was that? I think that was a collective of all of ours. It might have been Rue. I don't know. Mm-hmm. He used that phrase the most, but <laughs> it might have been Rue. I think we collectively came up with that though. Like that was that was like the. And you got to remind uh, mind you, this was in an age where we we weren't politically correct, and mm-hmm. we used. Uh, masculine uh hyper masculine terms like that. <laughs> you know what i'm saying i get you, I get you, you. Know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> that's what we called them we didn't even we didn't that's just what the, they went by and so that was the song but i think that was after that we didn't even do nothing and i think we got into it we finally set up a battle like all right y'all niggas want a battle y'all want to keep going at us i think all right we're gonna do it at the poly game and mm-hmm. we set it up and it, it was, we were dogging them. <laughs> but I don't know for what reason it turned into a fight. Somebody said something. I think somebody grabbed Tech Jacket or, or yeah, somebody grabbed che- Tech Jacket or something while they was battling it and just, it, it turned into a melee after that. But um, I think, yeah, Superfly Daz was there. Like, man, why y'all fucking with them niggas like that? It's not us. They want this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, if I'm being honest, that's how it went. That's how my memory serves that. Mm-hmm. But um, it was a couple, it was a couple other guys there. The immediate, the immediates, the immediates always been cool. Like, we always been cool with Hit, always been cool with Bing, Eric. Oh, that's who I forgot. Eric was there, but. Eric used to just talk shit slickly. He didn't really talk a lot of shit because he used to hang with my little brother too, mm-hmm. Sag. So it was always just in light. It was never a serious rivalry and we never really took it serious, but competitive. Mm-hmm. More so for them, they, they was more competitive than us as far as wanting to be better and putting out, where are we doing this? What y'all doing? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It was more so that um, I think I think we did a show with them at um, House of Blues, too. Or maybe it was they did a show at the House of Blues, and then we did a show at, after that. I can't remember, but mm-hmm. that went pretty good, though. It was like, that's how it's supposed to be, you know what I'm saying? You, we don't have to be at each other's throat. Like, y'all don't got to be our, 
our enemies. If y'all want to fuck with us, just say that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, if y'all want to be, y'all know, we'll do some music. We ain't, because that was a, a stigma we had, too. People, because of the confidence we mm -hmm. carry, people thought that we were into ourselves and, and too good to partake in dealings with anybody else. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Because we ran such a, t a tight knit group and was in house. People thought like, oh, them niggas think they this or they think they that. Nah, that wasn't the case at all. We just like we we just kept the circle tight. Mm -hmm. I mean, I smoke bud, uh, but I don't recall the bud heads. Okay. Like as a fixture crew, there were crews. There was. Man, the all nighters. There was uh, hypnotic. There was porno style. There was dynamic. There was rhyme cipher. Um, them was the ones I actually knew of.